sunrise, a quiet, deserted beach on the northern coast of France. The nearby town of verville sur mer still asleep, except for a few fishermen. It is almost impossible to imagine that little more than 60 years ago, this peaceful shoreline was the setting for the largest armed invasion in human history. More than 175,000 fighting men, what General Dwight Eisenhower would call a mighty host, swept ashore on the Normandy coast on June the 6th, 1944. This epic military assault would be called by its code name, Operation Overlord, but history would know it simply as D-Day. The Allied invasion of Normandy was the largest military operation ever executed in military history. In terms of scope, you have over 1,200 combatant vessels supporting approximately 4,300 landing craft, which are gonna ferry in the range of a quarter of a million men onto the beaches over the next three weeks. Probably over half a million men engaged in either transporting these soldiers to the beaches or covering the beaches with overhead air cover, naval forces, land forces, logistics forces. Looking back on it, now at the tender age of 78, I'm just so proud that I was a part of it. And I give praise to the man upstairs for seeing us through and coming out victorious. I firmly believed then, and I do now, that uh, God was on our side. We didn't start the war, they did, and they had to be stopped. I felt God was watching us and telling us that uh, it had to be done. War is one of the necessary evils in our world, led by Satan and evil men. I say that war is hell any way you look at it. I believe it had to be done, and we were the young people of that age that had to do it. I don't think you should have war, but if you have to, do it and get it over with. And do it in the name of God. <laughs>